Hello guys, so in this video I'll be discussing what we need to do in week number two. Uh, I believe that you all people must have gone through my suggestion for week number one. So whatever we study in week number one was very very elementary at the same time it was very very important as well right. So your real preparation for point section starts from week number two. Because from week number two we have to handle the actual arithmetic topics like mixture allegation, profit loss, uh, CISI and then you have to continue with time and work, time is spread distance so and so forth right. So in the week number two you have to restrict yourself to three topics, three or uh, three important topics and those are mixture and allegation it will require the knowledge of average ratio and percentage, profit loss and discount this will require the knowledge of ratio and percentage, CIN, SI and installment they also require basic knowledge of percentage and ratios. And since in this week we have to complete these three topics, so obviously it will require more time. So you have to at least give 20 to 25 hours to uh, in week number two for these three topics. Now, what are the key focus area which you have to focus? Of course, these topics, each of the topics have their some standard formula, but you have to focus more on the alternate approach. Why I'm emphasizing on the alternate approach? The reason is simple. The question which will appear from these topic, most of the question will test your concept. They will not test your the application of formula because the usual question which can directly be solved by just putting the formula uh, do not appear in CAT, right? Often those questions appear wherein we have to apply the concept, right? So you have to focus more on the alternate approach. For example, in mixture allegation, there is crisscross method that is one approach wherein we get the ratios very quickly. In profit and loss, I have developed a very good approach wherein you have to just apply the simple concept of ratio and understanding the advantage ratio and disadvantage ratio using these two ratio only you can solve plenty of questions uh, from the area of profit loss and discount. The only thing what you have to do is to practice right and similarly I have developed a trick for solving questions from CISI and installment more uh, importantly for installment wherein without using any formula you can solve any type of questions from the installment. So you have to not only focus on the formula but in the alternate approach and I have given ample of tricks for variety of questions from these area wherein you have to uh, wherein you can get the answers very quickly right so you have to remember those tricks also whenever they are applicable now apart from these two things definitely you have to focus from mixture and allegation the questions which are based on replacement because these questions uh, have a lot of variety so for every different type of replacement questions if we uh, if we take the root of uh, formula then it's very very difficult because the formula keeps on changing depending upon the changes it has been done in the question. So to avoid too much of formula I have given how do you use the ratio or the approach of ratio to solve any question which is based on replacement. It doesn't matter whether the toughness level is easy, tough or very tough. Any questions from the replacement can easily be solved by the uh, uh, by the ratio approach. I have given ample of solved examples also and illustrated the, uh, the, the approach. Now for all these topics and for more topics in the arithmetic including these three topics the most important thing or the last phase of the learning is the modification in the question. There will be a lot of questions as I said and there could be varieties of questions but what happens is that the question is 80 to 70 percent is similar to some other question which you have already solved. So you should be in a position to modify the question slightly so that it gets fits to apply the standard formula or approach right. A slight change in the question you should be able to find out and just negotiate those changes so that whatever approach you have understood in solving the question from that particular topic or if you have standard formula wherein you have to apply in that particular topic that should be applied right. So this thing this particular thing will come with some practice and rest of these things you can learn simultaneously going through the theory parts right. Now let me just show you that in the course where you will be finding these topics and from th those topics what are things you have to do. So once you log in to the portal you have to just go into the uh, quant course within that again you have to go into this folder of cat quant arithmetic. Once you get inside this particular course then you have to just scroll down and you'll find that after percentage you'll be finding mixture allegation right. So in mixture allegation again you'll be finding all the details all the different types of questions as you can see that uh, the basic formula for mixture and allegation rule then how the formula can be tweaked to use the crisscross method then how to use the allegation rule for heterogeneous mixture 
then how to use the same allegation rule for dilution because what I have done here is that depending upon different types of question where we apply the concept of mixture allegation, I have segregated each type and have illustrated with an example that how the application of the rule or the formula is done, right? So you can find these all examples here. And similarly, allegation rule for profit and loss, allegation rule for interest, allegation rule for replacement for two mixtures. So this replacement part, I have given the trick wherein the wherein the application of ratio is uh, is used to uh, to negotiate the question very easily, right? And then profit and loss. So again, you can see that within profit and loss, you'll be finding a lot of uh, stops like understanding the basic terms and terminologies, the basic approach, and working with market price. Then I have also given a lot of uh, uh, level one questions from profit loss and discount so that you get acquainted with the basic formula and their application and here you will be finding the uh, the uh, the solution for it so just to show you that if you go through this pdf so it will get open like this so this pdf has all the questions these are all elementary questions because you have just gone through the theory parts now you need to just apply the rules to solve these questions right once you go through these uh, set of questions, then again, you can see the video explanation where I have given the solution for each of these questions in detail as per the theory. Similarly, uh, depending upon the types of questions, I have uh, segregated again that how do we apply the logic of profit, getting the profit or finding the loss when the false weight is used or when the false measurement is used or when the adulteration is done, right? And this particular portion is very, very important wherein we use the uh, the trick to find the profit when multiple cheating methods are used. So in this video, you'll be finding those tricks which I have uh, explained in detail, right? And then you have to immediately move to the simple interest component trace that installment practice problems, right? So this in simple interest component trace, you'll be finding the uh, logic of uh, simple interest compound test type of question again I have given a very uh, elementary question for the practice and this sol video solution for the same now once you have completed these theory this should not take more than say 10 hours cumulatively then or definitely you have to move to the practice problem from this area right and those practice problems are like for example you have done with say profit loss and discount and then you need to go through the practice problem. So there are three sets of practice problems as you can see here. So if you go through these practice problems, they are in the form of test. So this is how the test opens as you can see, right? You will be taking them as a test. There is no time limit. So don't worry about the time. You can just take, the, take them as a test. There are four or five questions in each of these tests as you can see here, right? And once you go through the sets, you have to just submit it so that you can now access the video explanation. So just click this particular button and each question will have the video explanation. So this is the button wherein if you click the video explanation will pop up and you can just run this video and understand how the solutions would be done. So in this week, these are the important topics we have to do. In the next video, I'll be coming up with uh, the with my recommendation that what you have to do in week number three.